This morning, my colleagues Gloria Borger, Jeremy Diamond, and I are learning new details about President Trump promising the president of China that he would remain silent on pro-democracy protests in Hong Kong while the U.S. and China continue their trade talks. As you know, widespread demonstrations have continued for months in Hong Kong, with some leading to violent clashes between protesters and police. One of those protesters shot in the chest just days ago by a police officer. Joining me now, Peter Navarro. He's the director of the White House Office of Trade and Manufacturing Policy. Uh, before we get to those bigger issues, of course, some big economic numbers out today, 136,000 jobs in, in September, a bit below the 145 that was expected. Uh, what does this indicate for the strength of the, strength of the economy? You buried the lead, Jim. Mm -hmm. 3.5% unemployment, rate. unemployment yes. rate, the lowest in 50 since years. we put a man on the moon. Mm -hmm. um, it was a, it's a good number. Here's the way to think about this. In, in order to maintain the unemployment rate where it is mm -hmm. each month, we have to generate 95,000 jobs. Okay. So anything above that's gravy. So now we're at 3.5 percent. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, and every American who wants a job can get, get, get a job. And there's jobs begging out there to be filled. So okay. um, the thing is, though, I want to make this point, which is really important. This number, even though it's a very good number, should not deter the Federal Reserve from aggressively lowering their rates for one simple reason, not because the economy is slowing down, but because our dollar is so overvalued, it's killing our exports. Okay, let, and that's let's, hurting manufacturing. Let's get to that. Job numbers, a good figure this week. Manufacturing numbers, you know, for number. the first time since 2009, indicating a contraction that based on the Institute of Supply Management survey, service sector as well, growing at its weakest point in three years. Is that an indication to you that the trade war is weighing on the economy? No, not at all. It's an indication to me that Federal Reserve policy with the overvalued dollar is hurting our exports. And we know that. It's not just that, because you know, know the manufacturers that, you know, also we, point we to know the that, trade that We know that from the data. Well, mm -hmm. Q2 data was exports were down like two-thirds of a point. Um, on the ISM, I love that indicator, but there's a better one now, a more modern one, the market PMI. Basically, it measures more uh, domestic manufacturing, and it was above 50. So I, bottom line is like 3.5 percent unemployment. This economy's hitting on all cylinders. Uh, there's going to be some months where manufacturing is lower than others. Construction was strong. Transportation was strong, which is encouraging because that's a leading indicator. This, this economy, is, under the, the Trump tax cuts, deregulation, cheap energy, and trade reform, is, is a great thing. Okay, I want to get you to, 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 some, to some international issues here. As you heard, we have new reporting this morning that President Trump, in a phone call with President Xi in June of this year, uh, promised the Chinese president that he would stay silent on protests in Hong Kong while the trade talks continue. That, that's a remarkable position for a U.S. president to take, considering our historic support for uh, human rights you, and democracy. You, 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 assert, you assert that as a fact, though. And I read that story carefully. And, and Jim, and from a journalistic point of view... Are you denying that the president made that? Hang on, that, that hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, I wasn't privy mm -hmm. to that phone call, but here's what I do know. That story had, what, sources, what, familiar with the thing? I, who are these people? Well, I, I know this that's is, a, frequ it's a this frequent is the point issue. to go to the sources. No, no, we've no, we've no, spoken no, to multiple but, sources, but and by the way, the president's public comments yeah. after that call, you he can gave China a pass. That. He you gave can, China a pass no, no, on no, no, us. No, no, he no. said it was an eternal you issue. You assert that. Okay, but that's not a fact and evidence. That's we also, based we on also spoke anonymous sources who want to no, hurt this we president. Also spoke, we also spoke to Jim, the we Jim, spoke to people involved in the follow up to this. Bad Let me give you an example. I read that's through that whole journalism. story. It was we one spoke to Kurt assertion Tom. of fact after we another spoke to the without US sourcing. Counsel for Hong Kong, you had who was told twice not to give speeches on who? Hong Kong by, by Secretary of State Mike Pompeo put following this order in, from the White put House. Facts and evidence. It's in the story. I read your story, Jim. My point is that you've got uh, two anonymous sources, right? Who are these people? Well, do you, do you have Who contradictory evidence on, on the president See, making this pledge? Here's the thing. The media can't just write these, these news stories based on anonymous sources and then expect the White House to confirm or deny. That's a game we won't play. Uh, I could, they, I could, I could US, list to you the, the number of stories the only that the news thing media the broke that were said, later confirmed by public the, information. The or, thing, for instance, what we're seeing Kurt Volker say on the Hill now about text messages. The only thing the president has said publicly, he said it repeatedly on Hong Kong, that he hopes that there will be a peaceful resolution. And he's very aware of the situation. I've spoken Peter, publicly on this, that it's 
capitalism and freedom, mm -hmm. battling communism in the streets of I'm Hong Kong. You, I'm surprised you would take this position because you, for instance, no, you no, said but on you Fox assert News, a fact and not an evidence. Uh, I, I will not sit here on the set of CNN well, you don't have contradictory and let you. Evidence and we spoke yeah, but to you can't. You, you don't have the fact and evidence. Hmm? You can't assert that, Jim, based on anonymous sources. You just can't. We spoke do with that. sources with direct CNN knowledge, has and to I know stop that's a frequent. That. I know that's a frequent. Uh, you, you guys got to stop doing safe that. Place for you because, to go. Because Let I me know. Ask you this. I you know. Said the, on Fox Business, uh, uh, you, you praised Fox Business for covering the Hong Kong protests. I praised uh, Maria Bartiromo, Lou Dobbs. Are you disappointed uh, the and president? Trish Reagan. Are you disappointed the president no, you, hasn't made a public assuming, statement in support of the Hong Kong you're protests? You're assuming there. a fact, not in evidence. He has, has said the president very, made a public statement. He said very clearly that he wants a peaceful resolution to that. He said it was an internal issue, and he encouraged uh, he encouraged uh, um, both sides so, to refrain from. So what, what's the point here, Jim? I'm asking you. Are you disappointed the president hasn't I'm made a public statement in, in my support president. of the, of I'm the I'm never protests. disappointed in okay. my president. When you heard the president yesterday call on China to investigate an American, you and I have spoken multiple times about how China breaks international law. Time out here. Is this is like, okay for is this like an, an interrogation okay? here? It's like I, I feel like I'm at, like Adam Schiff is sitting in front of me. And by the way, I'm a journalist. Adam, I ask questions of Democrats. I understand, and every but day. but but this is like an interrogation, right? So it's an interview. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. We, this is witch hunt part two, okay? The president I've said on the three, White House lawn I've yesterday, sat here for authoritarian three years. China should, should investigate can, an American. Can I finish? You have told can me I many finish? times that China breaks international law. Is it do, acceptable do for a U.S. president to investigate Do I get a chance to talk here? I've asked okay. the question. So my, my, my point here is I've been in this town now for three years. We went through witch hunt part one for two and a half years. Adam Schiff sociopath looked you in the eye and the American people in the eye said irrefutable evidence the of the on Russia the hoax. Yesterday. Now, so hang on, let me just finish. You had, you had, you had your hectoring. Um, now we have Adam Schiff saying that he doesn't know the whistleblower and everything. And I'm now we find what the president does. said. I, I know that Adam Schiff has become a talking point for Republicans. The president my said point, on the White House lawn yesterday, China should investigate you wanna, an American. You talk to the president about this. What I'm telling you is that this is a witch hunt that's hurting the American people. I mean, we have 3.5% unemployment rate. Impeach that. Peter, you and I have talked about how China is a bad actor repeatedly. And you and I have and both we covered agree China. on that, We've right? covered China for and, years. And would you, would you grant me the fact that this president is the greatest president in history standing up to China? <laughs> <No>. Standing up <laughs> to Listen, China? Who I, else has stood up to China, Jim? I, I have. I would, have you, said, would you admit I, that? I have, I have I, said that, publicly that, that the president woman who was sitting in this China chair, of course, that, is an issue. That I'm woman who was sitting in this chair says that, that the president is standing up to China for something other than the American people? Before we go, will someone like you call out China? China for breaking the law, w will you will you comment at all on, on your president calling on authoritarian China to investigate an American citizen? No, I it, look. You'll, this you'll is let a, that stand. this is a witch hunt. No, I'm not letting it stand. I'm just I don't want to go into this. It's like this is the problem here. We've got a great economy. This president's doing a great job, and all you guys want to do is drag him down in, into some mud. It's with anonymous sources. Who are these anonymous sources, Jim? How come you never have them on Do the Do you set? have any contradictory here, information that the president made this? I was not. I was president. not privy to that call. But what I can tell you is this: Have you ever raised what I can, investigating what Joe I can Biden tell with China you, during What I can tell you is this. Can I tell you okay. this? Okay. I've read probably over a hundred stories in three years, which were based on anonymous sources, which simply had fake news in them and inaccurate right, well, information. So I, we have longer time, I saw we that story break last night and I thought it was irresponsible journalism. I urge everybody to go read that story and see how many times you can find an actual source in there. H have you ever raised investigating Joe Biden or his son during your contacts with Chinese officials? Me, personally? Yeah. Now, here's the thing. I will never talk about what happens inside the White House, mm -hmm. okay? Not confirm or deny, because that's the slippery slope. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this, Jim. But With all, you, you, hang on, you hang on. Let me ask you this. 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 How is it that a U.S. president going forward is ever going to be able to have a candid conversation with a foreign leader about any sensitive matter if the jackals are always wanting to get things revealed? You guys want every transcript revealed of everything. And by the way, the president Apparently, putting stuff, the president's the president putting stuff in a secure uh, server now the ones based on the all the leaks that have come from, from that White House. 
I'd put everything in a secure well, service. Just before we go, just, I'll just give you the opportunity. Have you ever raised investigating Joe have, Biden or his son have in you Chinese ever, negotiations? Have you ever given me a source that's other than anonymous for any of this crap? Listen. That's what I want to know. Re re okay? <laughs> read the story and tell me if you have percent unemployment rate. I'll give you an opportunity. That. If you have contradictory okay? information about Trump making that pledge, you're welcome yeah, back but, on the but show What I'm anytime. asking is, like, stop writing these irresponsible stories that are single source from anonymous people. To you, not single source, multiple in, sourced. In two sources? Stand by the Two reporting. anonymous sources. Peter, that, listen, that it's that always good to have you on. It's fun. When you have an answer to the questions right. as opposed to a I am, on the reporting, I am answering we'll the questions that I think are appropriate.